North Korea is still routinely firing rockets overhead, engaged in an escalating war of words and might with the U.S. And the playing field is just as messy. Russia is banned from the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. The Russians learn this week they'll be barred unless they can prove they're clean and they're willing to wear the IOC colors instead of their country's colors. It will be the Olympic anthem that will be played in any ceremony. The culmination of a wide-ranging investigation that found state-sponsored doping in Russia. Where dirty samples were tested in a way they were deemed equal to clean samples. The resulting loss of medals from the 2014 Games in Sochi has dropped the country from number one to fourth in the medal standings, a further humiliation for the Russians. Dick Pound was the first president of the World Anti-Doping Agency and remains a senior active member of the IOC. So Dick, setting the stage of what we know at this point about what awaits us all in South Korea, none if any Russians, it will be up to the individual athletes I gather, whether they decide they still want to go, um, no NHLers, have these already become the asterisk games? I don't think so. I, I, you're not dealing with a, a political situation here. This, this is the outcome of a, the exposure of a very tawdry system of cheating in sport, um, in, basically in real time. You know, we didn't have to wait for the fall of a Berlin Wall to get the information. So this is what you would expect uh, for misbehavior in sport. I take your point that it's not a political situation and yet driven by politics in Russia. And having said that, you know, all we've heard around the world for the better part of 18 months now is about Russian tampering in the U.S. election, Russian tampering in elections in Europe. Certainly this case of Russian tampering that, that we've been hearing about in some ways for seven years now. Do you think there's any reason to be concerned that the Russians would find a way to tamper in these games, notwithstanding that they're not there? No, I, you, I think the situation in Sochi where the, uh, the, the Russians control the laboratory is not going to exist in, in Pyeongchang. And uh, I, I, my guess is this is a one-off. It, 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 now that we know what happened, it, it's not going to ever happen again. The, the tampering, if, if that's what it would be, would be if they could slip in some athletes uh, that um, have been doped, uh, and, but, you know, talk their way through the... Uh, individual entries uh, to the games. But other than that, no, I, th I think uh, it's pretty safe. Putting aside the issue uh, about the athletes themselves and doping and, and trying to make sure that they are a clean games, of course, you have the, the context of what's happening in North Korea. And no reason at this point to think that that's going to stop for two weeks for the love of sport. North Korea hasn't indicated that in any way publicly that I'm aware of. Does it make sense to be holding the games in South Korea with all of this playing out on a geopolitical scale? Yeah, I, I don't think you can allow yourself to get run off um, hosting an event of, of this uh, character uh, simply because there are some belligerents uh, out there. Uh, if there's a, a direct attack on, on uh, you know, the territory of uh, South Korea, then that's perhaps a different thing. But I, I don't see uh, any point for either side in, in allowing things to escalate uh, that much. That North Korea is, is trying to show that it's, it punches above its weight in the, in the nuclear uh, age, but uh, they also understand that, that uh, if they do anything too far, uh, they will be annihilated. But is it possible to move the games, even if something were to happen in the next few weeks that would really escalate concerns? Is it even possible to move the games? No, it's not possible. Uh, at a certain point, you know, basically, <laughs> about two years into the organization of the games, you're pretty well locked in to, uh, to uh, where, you know, the, the chosen site. So uh, there will be games in Pyeongchang or there will be no games, period. Dick Pound, good to talk to you. Thank you. Pleasure.